Hi, we're Camille and Kennerly, the Harp Twins. We get a lot of questions about our harps, how many we have, where we keep them. So hopefully this video will answer some of those questions. We wanted to give you a tour of our harp room. So welcome to the harp room of Harptopia. Come on in. So in many houses, this might be the living room, but in Harptopia, this has ended up being the harp room. Who needs furniture when you can just have harps. As you can see, there are different areas for the different harps. Those are designated by the rugs. So we will have a little setup on each rug of different harps that we're working with at that time. So these first harps that we're going to show you, these are our newest harps. They are our electro-acoustic concert grand pedal harps. And as the name indicates, uh, they are both electric and acoustic harps, meaning that they have the body of a full acoustic harp. You can see the soundboard, the large soundboard, and uh, but they also have a pickup on every single string. And then they have outputs at the bottom of the harp. Uh, so all those are connected to the electrical wire and then we can amp them, plug them in, and uh, we can hook into any sound system or amplifier that we want. So we can also use pedals, effects pedals. Of course, they do weird things to harps since there are no pedals specifically made for harps, but we can use guitar effects pedals if we want, and we have before. So these harps are ones that we frequently use for performances because they're great for spaces of all sizes, including really large concert halls um, because of the easy amplification, well, easy in comparison to most harps. <laughs> and we also now do a lot of recording with them as well um, for the same reason. As you can tell, they are silver. We had them custom painted to get that awesome chrome finish kind of like you might see on a car or something. I uh, will briefly show you the pedals as well, but we might do a video in the future delving further into the different types of harps and exactly how those work. But that is a whole nother thing um, that's kind of complex and very unique to the harp. Yes, so. so these have the pedals, seven pedals, on the bottom of the harp, and that's why they're pedal harps. The pedals change the pitches of the strings. So every string on those harps can be three different pitches. So anyway, we will move on to the next harps that we're going to show you. <laughs> So these are our acoustic concert grand harps, and these are actually the oldest harps that we currently have. We've had them for the longest period of time. You can see them in our very oldest music video, and you can even see them now in our newest music videos. So we still use them a lot. Yes, um, they have a gorgeous acoustic sound and an extended, which is a larger sound bar, which mm -hmm. creates a, a kind of a cool beefier bassy sound. Yeah, these are these are beautiful for smaller spaces or spaces that don't need amplification and uh, they're still wonderful harps. We use them all the time. <laughs> and across the way from our electroacoustic pedal harps we have our electric harps. So we have yes. two sets of them, as you can probably see. We have our black set and our silver set. They, to most people, I guess, would be essentially identical, other than the color to the <laughs> both pairs to each other. These ones were the first electric harps that we got quite a few years ago. Uh, they're the ones that we strap on and wear for our music videos. So and we then, wear them, we use these, I should say, for nearly all of our, our performances. So. Yes, we always strap them on, wear them that way. These we got quite a few years later because we only had the one set of electric harps and we played them so much we thought, you know, we really should have backups because if something happens to one of the harps, then we can't play. And by the time that uh, we've been playing these, I think for about a year, uh, the price had been raised and they were impossible to get on the showroom floor. We made them just a tad bit more popular. I think so. Um, <laughs> but so we have two sets now, and, but we really do play them equally yes. um, so that they uh, all get a lot of uh, good use and uh, keep them up and running all the time. Yes, so these are our electric harps. So these are our smallest harps. They're in the Celtic style. Yes. And we don't perform on them a lot, but we do use them a lot for 
therapy type sessions mm -hmm. um, where yes. it's with uh, people to, who have special needs because they're very light tension so it makes it easier for people that might not have a lot of finger strength. We also have used these when we're traveling because we can put them in our vehicle, play them just sitting there in the seats. There are little hobbit harps we sometimes them. <laughs> so as you can see we have the smaller blue ones and we have the larger white ones. We call these our icicles. And so we also recently discovered the world of online garage sales which was yes. very exciting. Very exciting. We found this little piece for an online garage sale and this rug as well. So we have made some harp room improvements <laughs> and uh, some storage space over here. This one actually houses a lot of sheet music. It is an old cabinet that has been refinished and so we have a lot of music Orig books in there. It was originally meant for sheet music so it's perfect yes. and still used today. <laughs> oh that is our YouTube silver button. Uh, we got this when we hit 100,000 subscribers um, many years ago. Yes, so we're, we're now still we're, waiting on that million one. We're still so working uh, if, working toward that. If so. you have friends, uh, have them subscribe so we can work so we our can, way toward the million. We and want we a larger button. A large gold player. <laughs> <laughs> so moving over to our recording area, we actually do all of our recording from home. Yes. We did that even far before the pandemic, so we were all ready when that happened. And we <laughs> needed to start recording from home because we already were. And this um, is our recording station. We have our computer here. This is our interface. It's actually very it's old. It's very old. We do need a new one. The headphone jack doesn't really work anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, we have a our new vocal recording setup, which we're really uh, super happy about. This was compliments of a very lovely uh, supporter and member of our community. Back behind here, that's actually an old family piano. It is not in working order right now. And we're hoping to eventually actually make it into the recording desk and we'll do a little bit of work on that, some woodwork. And but right now there's more storage here, lots of different harp things, harp strings, yes. uh, different pedals, etc. So yes, so storage. this is our home recording studio in Harptopia. This is where all the harp magic happens. That's right. So working our way around the corner from the electric harps, we have a new storage piece. Well, new is in quotes. Uh, we actually got this for $50 used. It didn't have any doors on it. And so. our mom put these curtains on here. She used little curtain Which rods. Which is perfect because they're beautiful and allow easy access to all of the different harp room storage we have in the cabinet. Yes, so this is another one of our new finds and <laughs> it works really well for the harp room. And on top of the cabinet, are three trolls representing the three trolls from our the twins and the trolls original story and song given to us by the amazing Gloria from Cuddle Tree Crochet. They're so cool. And a bonus feature of uh, this this kind of side harp room annex is the troll house. Yes, this is our troll house. And our troll house is where all the trolls reside. It is a work in progress. We're hoping that maybe eventually we might even build another level. Another level. We have a lot of trolls living in here. We've got some twin twin trolls in their little bed upstairs. Yeah, twin yeah. trolls. Twin baby trolls. And um, all kinds of little furniture. These actually were trolls that belonged to our ma when she was young. And so some of them were from our, some of these other ones are from that we had when we were young. So this is, I guess, our multi-generational troll house. Uh, the Nisa lives in oh, this yeah. annex it's kind here. Of a side annex here. This is the Nisa's home. Um, and as you probably know, or well, if you don't already know, you will soon. Nisa's love animals, and so he's got all the he, other little critters. He is the little animal caretaker. Little, all the little critters in here. So there's a lot happening. He, uh, they, of course, they have canoe. You know, they love the water. Oop, there goes a tree. <laughs> I guess this ended up being a troll house tour. We'll do a separate troll house tour. <laughs> <laughs> we almost forgot this little guy here is our humidifier. Uh, it helps to keep the room a little bit better for the harps uh, during our long winter months. So we will have that running a lot of the year just to get a little more moisture during those dry months. <laughs> And behind the harps, you can see our beautiful art wall. So some of them were done by professional artists that we commissioned to create merchandise pieces, and many of them were done by fans. It crosses the entire span of our careers, which is really fun yes. for us to have. We wanted to have an art wall in our harp room for a long time. So we framed these with our mom this winter, since we've always wanted this art wall. And yes, we just love how it turns out. 
and we have all kinds of little critters around the harp room. If you look around, uh, they're everywhere. We love things made out of natural materials, anything involving Nisa. So we have some adorable little uh, Arctic foxes and harps. These are all hand crocheted by uh, Gloria with Cuddle Tree Crochet. She's so talented. But yeah, you'll see all, or we love birch. We're obsessed with birch, but all kinds of uh, natural materials made into cool little trinkets. This is our Norway wall. We've got a Viking ship, a hand-painted map of Norway, a um, troll plate from Norway. Yes, and we have a little a little harp spoon, a little harp love spoon. There. This is from Wales, and, and ooh, these are hand-painted by yours truly. <laughs> we each have one. So. We love little decorations and little baubles. So uh, this is actually a harp harmonica that belonged to our grandpa. It's really cool. Look at that. So awesome, he played harmonica very well. This is an old coffee grinder that belonged to our great grandma. So she ground great, coffee. Great, 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 great grandma. So I guess the coffee gene has been passed down. A giant pine cone <laughs> from a lovely supporter in Montana. And uh, uh, again, lots More of things birch. made out of uh, natural materials. There are, there are our owls right there and there. This is a beautiful antique harp sculpture. The clock belonged to our great, great grandmother. More pine cones, more harp art. The interesting thing about these two pieces there, that one matches the one on this side. And those are pieces that we actually got well before we had a concert grand harp of our own. We never thought we'd be able to own them because they're expensive, but we eventually earned enough money and uh, so we got those a long, long time ago at a street market. Uh, this piece was, I guess, our inspiration for a long time. Yes. These are more nature-inspired art pieces. As you can see, we really love birch, as yes. we mentioned. <laughs> and then we have some handmade Norwegian candelabras. candelabras. This is actually a little framed piece of art that our mom gave us. I play the notes as they are written, but it is God who makes the music. Johann Sebastian Bach. So that's just a beautiful little reminder. reminder. Um, yes, we have our Lord of the Rings coasters because we are huge Lord of the Rings fans. And uh, this beautiful screen, this it was made by our grandpa. This it's, it has a rose, rose mulling uh, design on it, and our mom actually put the the lace, the lace behind it. Our grandpa was a fine woodworker, so he <laughs> crafted all sorts of furniture. Oh, and, and this art. piece, though, this piece is another. Uh, it's another online garage sale piece. Yeah. So, so we have lots, of lots of music and things under there for all of our things. Yes. And then, of course, more uh, nature-inspired pieces, little pearls and a little Nisa. <laughs> and some items we found free at the curb. One man's trash is a harp twins treasure. And I know we're going to get a lot of comments about the different colored dresses. We actually, once in a while, do wear different colors, but the same thing. These actually were owned by our grandmother and our great aunts. They often dressed alike and in different colors, and they were very close, just like us. <laughs> Fun fact is that the two of us hand painted every ceiling board as well as put several coats of a whitewash pickling on every wallboard. I keep my cowbells in here. Don't tell Camille.